Hey, I just uh, watched a bunch of video responses to this the last couple days. And I watched Thomas's uh, 22 minute video response to my video where he was watching it and then pausing it and responding to each point that I make. Point to counterpoint. It's kind of interesting to listen to your listen to yourself get completely dissected without being able to clarify or make a counterpoint. It's it's uh, frustrating at, at times, but informational too and interesting. I can't believe, Thomas, that you said, look where that got them in regards to the Native Americans. Come on, man. What the hell's wrong with you? Listen. I guess people either have had conversation with me or they haven't. And it seems like if people haven't had conversation with me, they've made a decision on of, about who I am based off of uh, the video blogs that they've watched. Which <coughs> I guess is unavoidable. I guess it's all you got, you know? Like, I make a decision on who I think Newell is based on the text that I've seen from Newell, so I don't have a very clear idea of who Newell actually is, and I don't assume to know who he is, or she, I think it's a he. But people really, a lot of people seem to, I don't want to assume that that's what people are saying. People have, have very strong opinions in their minds. It's interesting, like as soon as I have a conversation with someone, they say that it's, or it's not what they expected. I think because this is just, uh, it's different than meditation for me. It's different than letting my mind flow. But I'm not going to take it personally. I suppose if people want to communicate with me, then they will. And if you want to and you don't, then of course you're going to get angry. And you'll probably divert that anger at me and make it seem like it's my fault. Like you'll watch my videos, You'll get an idea in your head, but you won't respond me to me with it, and you'll get angry. And that's you. That's not me. It's your job to respond. It's not my job to fix myself. There's nothing wrong with me. I mean, no more than any other human being. It's not my job to see things your way. It's your job to express yourself. It's my job to express myself. And if you talk, I'll listen. I suppose there's no, there's really no point even in, it's not even really possible to defend myself because there's no attacking, it's just people expressing anger. I think that uh, people really, really get focused on the specifics of what's said and really hold on to the specifics of what's said. People hold on to them for days and weeks and years and lifetimes and people won't let go of things that are said and maybe that's a, that's because we want to disassociate from our own life and we want to focus on something that someone else has done or said rather than just accept it and let it go although yeah geez this is not a clear message right now but that's okay I'm not trying to make a clear message I'm just trying to get out my thoughts Thomas is a smart fucking guy and I do, Thomas, I do appreciate you uh, responding to me. Sorry that I didn't respond to you sooner. You gotta be careful with that anger, man. I know you think that there's times for it. And it is very powerful, and it does get people's attention, and you can get what you want physically with it. But emotionally, it's a block. When it's happening, we're not growing as people. And it's an indicator. If you're getting angry, there's a reason you're getting angry, and it's in your mind. 
and it's something in your past that you're not talking about and that's why you're feeling angry is because you're not accepting who you are you're not accepting your life experiences it's up to us to do that otherwise we're going to live with anger our entire life and it's going to stunt us our entire life All right. I do appreciate you making these videos dude and I watched them both and uh, I looked up the definition of communism. Now, what I believed has been communism is kind of what the definition says. I'll read, I'll read it real quick. There's two. The first one's a theory or system of so social organization based on the holding of all property in common, actual ownership being ascribed to the community or to the state, like state property. Like, people don't own their houses. The government owns their houses. That's a basic, I think, a, a thread of communism, I think. I don't know. This is what, the, this is what I believe my whole life. Number two is... A system of social organization in which all economic and social activities controlled by a totalitarian state dominated by a single and self-perpetuating political party like the same political party for years and years and years and years and years and that's why people suffer. It's because the same people make all the decisions for a long time. There's no vote. Uh, maybe there's a vote. doesn't seem to be. Not by the definition there's not. If there's more to it, man, let me know. Rather than just screaming about how I'm wrong, I mean, does that f really feel good? Make a point. Explain the difference between communism and Stalinism. Clarify it for me. Give to the society. Give to this world rather than just get angry about what you see. See ya.